Welcome back. Right now we have Dr. Uma Naidu joining us virtually. She's the author of this incredible new book called This Is Your Brain on Food. Discusses the connection between what we eat, our gut, and our mental health and overall wellness. Dr. Naidu, thanks so much for joining us today. How are you? I'm well, thank you. Thanks so much for having me. I'm excited to be here with you. Well, I'm very much happy to have you here with me. In fact, my son saw me reading this book last night and told me that some of his friends were talking about it at the gym. So that's very high praise. Very excited oh, about this. Tell me more about this connection between what we eat and our overall mental health and wellness, especially. Absolutely. So, you know, um, I explained to people this way. We take a headache pill for um, a headache. We swallow it, we take some water, it goes to our stomach, but it actually helps a pain elsewhere in the body uh, for that headache. So it's important for us to start to make this connection between what we eat and our emotional well-being. You know, we talk to our doctors about eating for our weight or eating better because we have a family history of diabetes, but it's important for us to start prioritizing our mental health. And there are five you know, five general tips that I'd like people to follow, um, which, which I think guides them down this path. One is to prioritize their gut health, to eat the rainbow of colorful veggies and fruit every single day, because those are great for our body and for our mind. Getting enough sleep, you know, recent study um, done early in the pandemic showed that approximately two fifths of Americans are now struggling with sleep. So just understanding how we can uh, regulate what we eat to help us sleep better is important. And then getting enough fiber from our diet, enough omega-3s from things like a sardine snack that's rich in omega-3s, vitamin C and D to really help with our immunity, but help our general body functions, but also our brain. Um, and then amping up our, our flavor of food with different spices that we can use. You, know, you mentioned one of your first tips is to eat the rainbow. How can yeah. you make sure we get that in, especially in our busy lives? I know. Well, for one thing, you know, uh, and this is where kids can actually also have fun if they can go with you to the supermarket, you know, choosing these different colors and then doing something like a soup, um, like I make a vegetable soup or a roasted veggie dish, you know, or miso sweet potatoes with with a miso glaze to make it more interesting. But really choosing different colors and different veggies is a good way to start. My favorite fruit are berries, so I like to get different colored berries. That's another way to get in those colors. The phytonutrients, the vitamins, the minerals, and the fiber from all of the rainbow of, of colors here is actually great for our great for our brain. And you know, don't overlook the leafy green because our doctors tell us to eat salads, but actually they're rich in folate and low folate is associated with depression. So eating enough leafy greens several cups a day is a great way to get those in as well. And what about getting better sleep? It seems that we are hearing that, but do you have any specifics on how we can do just that? Absolutely. So, you know, some of the things that can help us sleep, uh, you know, melatonin is actually that hormone that helps with the circadian uh, rhythm, which is our internal body clock. And one of the ways to think about this is to eat foods that are rich in uh, melatonin. And my tip around that is actually to switch up breakfast for dinner because it turns out eggs are rich in melatonin. So making an omelet with some veggies and spinach and things like that in the evening could actually help you with starting to calm your body down and getting yourself ready for sleep. Some other foods that are interesting and also help sleep are tart cherries. Some people can get that as a juice um, in certain health markets, but you know, those the, look, look out for the extra sugar or added sugar in those, but tart cherries also help sleep. And there are um, also melatonin and things like fish and milk and other products that we can include um, you know, more in our bedtime routine. And you found a strong connection between eating certain vitamins and minerals, such as omega-3s, vitamin yes. C, and such. I'm curious, I know primarily we need to get those in the foods we eat, but what about supplements? Mm -hmm. Do they help with that as well? 
Absolutely. You know, my, 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 my feeling about supplements is that there's a place for them because our lives are not perfect and our diets are not perfect, but you cannot out supplement a bad diet. So if you're not eating well to start with, you can't just take a supplement to make up that difference. So I think that the way to think about it is if you've spoken to your doctor and he or she has done some tests and blood tests, and you might be deficient um, in something like vitamin D, you might actually need a supplement, but why not try food first? Because because we have to eat, we eat several meals a day and start to include those in a nutritious way, but also make it delicious. And then you're going to be enjoying your food as well. I was surprised when reading to find that you have some brain boosting spices. I was yes. not aware that spices would make such a difference. <laughs> Yes, yeah, spices are, you know, some of the hidden armor that you have in your kitchen cabinet. One of my favorites is actually turmeric, that bright yellow color. So turmeric with a pinch of black pepper, that's a brain hack just to make it more bioavailable to your brain and body, is actually really easy to use. If you don't cook with it, you can use it in a soup, a smoothie, or even a tea, but it's great on roasted veggies. Um, so that's, that's one you can go to. But, you know, things like rosemary, parsley, thyme, Mexican oregano, many of these have brain-boosting benefits. Rosemary is associated with sharper, sharpening your thinking, um, with helping you focus. So there's just another one there that you can start to add in. And Dr. Naidu, what made you decide to write this book? You've been in this field, health and wellness for many, many years. What was the catalyst that made you sit down and create this? Absolutely. You know, I feel that the food we eat has such an imp profound effect, um, you know, as the as even more profound than the impact of the pharmaceuticals and the drugs that we take. There's a place for those medications and absolutely we should be taking them when our doctor prescribes them. But food has such a huge place. We eat, we eat several meals a day. So I feel that using that for our better mental health, especially at these times is so important. More people are struggling. We know that rates of anxiety, depression, um, even use of substances, um, trauma, uh, many things are just heightened during the pandemic and food is such a low hanging fruit of something we can do to make ourselves feel emotionally better. And I was really inspired by seeing that my patients showed improvement when they started to form sustainable, healthy habit changes by including more healthy foods in their diet and starting to limit the processed, ultra processed kind of junk foods and fast foods, they emotionally started to feel better. And that was very powerful. Where can we get more information and make sure to pick up this book? Uh, thank you. We'll support your local bookstore. It's available where all books are sold. It's available online. It's on my website, which is umanaidumd.com. And follow me on Instagram because we're always putting out information. And that's at Dr. Uma Naidu, at D-R-U-M-A-N-A-I-D-O-O. Well, thank you so much for joining us today, Dr. Uma Naidu. The book is This Is Your Brain on Food. Thank you so much, Dr. Naidu, for joining us today. Really an intriguing book to help your overall health and wellness, encourage you to eat better and much more. We'll be back here on Mountain Connections right after this.